It's not every day you see a 16-foot elephant puppet marching through the farmer's market. But that was the case in Cranbrook Saturday for the community's newest arts festival. It's a free festival, which is uh, something that we really love. It's something that we feel uh, really belongs not, not just to us and to the organizations that put it together, but, but really belongs to the community as well. The inspiration for the festival came from the story of Charlie Ed, one of 14 elephants that got loose in Cranbrook back in the 1920s when the circus was in town. Ed became famous after being on the run for six weeks. And puppeteer Marcel Deraj says his version of Charlie Ed is only getting better with age. This is the second year the Cranbrook-based artist has put his giant puppet on display. Second year has been more like, let's see if we can make it to be more, more interactive, more dynamic, that he can move more and be more uh, um, touching people and be more inquisitive and mischievous. This year he made it so Ed could turn around freely. You have two pedalers that they pedal each side of the body and if you want you can go one forward, one backwards and rotate 360 on the spot. And while the giant puppet is a spectacle, Daraj says it's about more than the puppet. Encourage children to be in the arts and then for the grow-ups, for the ones that make decisions, hopefully they will see that this is a community that's vibrant, that wants to be creative and wants to be digging and introspecting in themselves and to be creative. And festival organizers agree. Even in a small town like Cranbrook, like what artists can be capable of, what unbelievable things that artists can do. Duraj credits grants from local organizations for making the festival possible. And if it was not for that, I couldn't do it, you know, full-time job. I'm an artist on the side, I do it because I love it. From potters and painters to dancers and musicians, all forms of art were on display at EdFest, and artists like Daraj hope to continue the tradition for years to come. Corey Bullock, CBC News, Cranbrook.